What is that noise? That meeting was a waste of my time. If I ever told you... What's wrong? Did you hear any knocking or weird noises? No, I just came from a meeting from the library. I haven't heard anything. That's weird. I've just been trying to study for this exam and I keep hearing things. You're just stressed. Studying way too hard for that biology exam of yours. Hey, I need to do good on this. My last two assignments didn't go so great and I need to score big if I want to maintain my GPA. Just don't overdo it. You know how you get when you're overworked and push yourself too much. How do I get, Anna? Enlighten me, please. You hear strange things. You heard that, right? I did. What are you trying to do? Mess with me? Me mess with you? I've been telling you that's what I've been hearing and I don't know where it's coming from or who it's coming from. You know what I'm talking about. Now it's time to knock it off. Casey's trying to study and I'm tired and cranky. Stop playing dumb, just knock it off. And if it's Mike, tell him we're done with the games. I'm spent. Just don't stay up too late, Casey. You need sleep worse than I do. Who can sleep with a ghost hanging around? Ghost? Now you're just being silly. There's no spirits hanging around here. Just our demented friends with too much time on their hands. <sighs> this is really a pain. I'm gonna hurt Bill and Mike when I see them. I think our room's haunted. I'm gonna go talk to Sam and see if she knows anything about these sounds. Great, get Sam over here and see if she can deal with these guys. Casey, it's like one in the morning, what's wrong? Sorry, did I wake you up? No, I was cramming for an exam, what's up? I was too, and Anna's trying to sleep, but we hear all these weird noises and knockings and moanings coming through the walls. Noises and moaning? Yes. I mean, I guess, but I think someone's just messing with you. See, that's what Anna said at first, but it, if it's just a prank, it's been going on for a really long time. Do something about this. We have to get up early tomorrow. Whoa, what is that? I don't know, but it's really starting to freak me out now. Now can I freak him? Sam, what's going on? It it couldn't be. It was all supposed to be just a rumor. What are you talking about? I I thought it was just a story or like a rumor or something, but when I first got the job here, I heard there was a student who lived in the same room that suffered from really bad headaches. No one knows what caused them, but the word is that he was just studying for a big test one night and then just passed out here. Look at it. Willie Marcus, apparently he lived here alone and no one noticed for days that he wasn't around. Apparently the guy had no friends and family to check in on him. I guess he was a pretty good student, but he got overstressed about a science exam and just checked out. See, Casey? See what happens when you overdo it? You're telling me that on the night I'm studying for my huge science exam, we're being haunted by this willy dude who died from studying for a science exam. Listen, I have an idea. My father knows a small company. It's like Ghostbusters, but they can talk to spirits. I'm sure they can get the spirit out of here with little to no damage. Ghostbusters? Are you kidding me? Call them, Sam. Call them! Casey, come on. This is ridiculous. Fine, call them, but it had better work and be cheap.
Are you the Ghostbusters? Paranormal investigation team. I'm Norm, this is Al. Norm and Al? Seriously? Like Norm Al? That's crazy. You have a spirit living in your residence? Yes, can you hear it? That's affirmative. Can you do something about it? That's affirmative. Can you do something about it today? That's, That's affirmative. affirmative. Good. Well? We're just waiting for our payment. How much? 500. 500? Like, dollars? That's, That's affirmative. affirmative. That's ridiculous. $500 to find a prankster and scare them away? That's no prankster, ma'am. That's a lost spirit trapped in between worlds. Who needs to be set free from the agony of this reality and transition to the heavenly utopia? Heavenly utopia? That's, That's affirmative. affirmative. And you're saying you can be rid of the ghost for $500? That's, That's affirmative. affirmative. Forget it. Listen, Willie. Go back to your utopia or whatever. You can leave our universe now. Huh. Problem solved. Bye, guys. $500? Fine. Just get it out of here. Once we have confirmation, we'll take care of everything. That's, That's affirmative. affirmative. So our ghost's name this time is Willie, huh? Nice name. Interesting backstory, too. <laughs> okay, Willie, the gig is up. It's time to come out. But I can't stand the bait anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so how much did we make this time? 500 bucks and another credit card number to add to our portfolio. Nice. College kids make great targets. <laughs> they do, but we better get out of here before we get busted. Come on, Al. Let's go, Willie. Oh, wait. Before we go, we should uh, go settle up with our business partner. It worked. Absolutely. Great idea about Willie with the headaches, by the way. <laughs> Be quiet. We're going to get caught. Everyone come inside. Tell me how much we're doing. Man, you should have seen the way she cried. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. <laughs>